is that other people, yeah, are just born into this yep. and, can, and can live a life of luxury 24 7. Yeah. Now, I've been through the hardships of life. Yeah. And I've got kids. Yeah. I don't want them to have to go through the that I've been through. Human beings don't live by money, they need to live by truth. And if they don't live by truth, their lives become harmed. And that's what's happening to you because you're not living by truth, you're living by a lie. How are we doing? Not too bad, Bob. I know you're always helping people trying to find Jesus in that. Yeah, but today what I'm trying to do, yeah, like you know me, I'm always promoting something, isn't it? And, yeah, go on. Uh, at the moment, I've made my own cryptocurrency, so I'm trying to get everybody on board so we can all make millions, you know what I mean? I I, that's a great idea, Bob. No. But we all need money, though. I think that cryptocurrency has not yet Cryptocurrency has emerged outside of legal structures and functions and people shouldn't get involved in cryptocurrency until the government is fully in control of everything about cryptocurrency. By the time the government are in control of it, that is when the banks will sell it to you and you will pay a hundred times more than I ever paid for crypto in my life. Right, but cryptocurrency is also funding crime, funding terrorism. And what is the and, biggest and, funder and, of crime? Funding, What's the biggest funder of crime? And, and, and is a, a classic way to defraud people. No, no I'd, say, I'd say maybe 10% of crypto is used in illicit activities. I would say 90% of cash is used for illicit activities. So At use, some point, yeah. Like when you go and see your drug dealer, he ain't accepting crypto. Yes. He wants cash. Yes. Yeah? I agree. You're right. When, you, when, you, when you're flogging stolen goods, yeah. they're not paying you in crypto. I'm not. They're paying you in cash. What's your name? Too late. Because at the moment, I think that cryptocurrency is probably in the hands of too many criminals. Boy, I don't know. I, don't want, I, can't, say, I can't say that because, like I said, at the end of the day, we use money, we use cash for the most illicit things. Like, And the most, the most cash is sent around the world illegally. You know, I'm people, not denying that. People smuggle that. People hide. People, people hide cash on their waistbands in plastic bags and try and go through the airport because they know that the dogs try to smell them. You get what I'm saying? Like, there's, there's not, there's none of that with crypto. And you know, people seem to think that cryptocurrency is like some untraceable kind of. Oh, it's, no. Every single transaction made is a log for it. That means if I send you 500 pound now. That £500 will be followed for the rest of eternity. Every single time you do a transaction, yeah. it will all be there on something what we can all come back to. And it's, and it's public. It's on a public blockchain. Real, so real, it's not a private real, blockchain. Real. I, 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 I mean, like I say, for me, there's not much of a discussion here. Because in, in all honesty, I'm not, I'm not against the idea of cryptocurrency in principle. I'm just saying that I wouldn't get involved in cryptocurrency until the government has a handle and control of cryptocurrency. And that's what I'm saying then, by that time you lost too much money. Uh, but but life, much. Ah, but this is where me and you approach life differently. It's because I don't think that possession of more should guide the choices I make. I think that being virtuous should guide the choices that I make. Yeah, and I, the point, the, the point is, I, I know about what, God and that, yeah. The I thing is God. real, the thing is real, what you're saying is, the, 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 the possibility of having more should guide your decisions and that is a bad way to think about life. It's a bad way to think about life. I hear what you're saying, but what you've got to understand is, yeah, but, uh, like we live in a time, yeah, where people don't want to hear about your, your life. Let's, let's be real. Let's be real. People want to hear about your best life. Yeah? They don't want to hear about, oh, I'm stuck in my house all day. They want to see when you're on holiday on the beach. So why do they watch you the news, saying, which like, is just misery? People don't watch the news because yeah, they, they want to watch the news. They watch the news because it's like, it's, it's, it's almost like uh, some kind of... Uh, so why is it bad stories get more people watching them than good stories? Because bad news sells. This is what I'm trying to say. If I, like, look, there could be, there could be 50 you. people watching this video right now, yeah? But if I punch you in the face, yeah? Like, we've got 103 people. It'll go punch. up, I know. Exactly. Yeah. People will be like, oh, so Bob, someone just punched Bob. And they'll go around all the other channels and be like, someone just punched Bob in the face. Come yeah. over here and have a look at exactly. it. Exactly. Like, and, so, and so my point to you is, you've just, you've just proven my point, that bad news sells. And if bad news sells, 
then that means your statement that people are only interested in your best life is not actually true. No, but it is because people do want to... You're the, literally contradicting the, yourself. No, 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 no. So why, why, how is it that Instagram, uh, Instagram's so popular and people go on Instagram to look at people with their nice flashy clothes and their holidays? This is what I'm talking about. Because some people to, like to be miserable. No. Huh? It goes both ways. Yeah. It goes both ways. Bad Thank you. News, bad news sells. What but what I'm trying to but say But you is said people pe weren't interested in the bad stuff. But no, they are. People, people are not interested in that way. Do you get what I'm saying? Like they'll watch the news and they'll be like, ah, oh, that. You get me? They'll get on with their day. But so real, you're, you're, you're missing. You, you, you're like the person on Instagram who just pulled up in a Ferrari yeah. or a Lamborghini. But Do real, you you're missing. Really you're, you're real. You're, you're missing the actually important question we should be asking, which is. What principle should we use to guide our lives? Now, the principle, the, the one that you marshaled was this idea of I, I, you should allow the desire to have more to guide your decisions. And I'm saying that's a bad way to approach life. I'm saying that that isn't a good way to approach life. That the way as a Christian that we say you should approach life is what cultivates virtue, what builds up the inner character, what builds up the inner man to be a, a, a man of virtue. Right, Bob. That, that's question. what Christianity Let me ask teaches. Question, Bob. How much money you got on you right now? Uh, as much as my bank card allows me to use in a day. Can you give it to me, please? No, of course not. Why not? You Why? don't need it. You're a Christian. All you need is how, God. How much All crypto? You need is Jesus, right? Uh, um, do you get what I'm saying? It, like, it, it, you need it. You need like you do need it. No, no, no. And no. This is what I'm trying to Sorry, say. But hold you need on. It. Real, like, real, need it. real. So, so sometimes we don't need. We, we do. No, we what, do. you, you, you don't even know what I'm going to say. Real. Real, you don't even Go know what then. I'm going to say. Go on. Right. So, firstly, no Christian believes that all you need is Jesus. Yeah. No Christian believes that. Yeah. No Christian ever says that. I've heard a couple of Christians say that. Well, I would ask them, how, how many days can they go without water? Or how many minutes can they go without oxygen? No intelligent Christian would ever make the statement that all you need is Jesus. There are lots of things that you need that are not our Lord. But it's the way you organize your life that requires Jesus. And what you're saying is I organize my decisions based upon the desire to have more money. Now I agree, money is something you need. I'm not one of these Jesus only people. What I'm saying though is you don't need as much money as you think you do. Of course, I mean, I don't need a hundred billion dollars. But right. if I did have a hundred billion dollars, I'll find something to spend it on. Real. I'll buy myself an island, Bob. You get me? Why do you I, need an island? I pay for I, I pay for you don't need an island, real. Oh, real. Right. Yeah, real, you don't need an island. You're lying, yeah, real. Real, so I'll tell, so tell you what you'd really do. <laughs> if you had a hundred million pounds, I suspect... hundred billion? A uh, hundred billion. I bet you'd have strippers, champagne, massive parties. And, and I bet you'd... I, I bet you that you would have throw some of the best and ho most horrible parties in the world. In the world. Yeah, 100%. Prostitutes 100%. the lot, wouldn't you? Wouldn't no, you, real? No, no, right? But would you would waste any of the money? No, I wouldn't waste the money. Are you saying that drugs and I'd prostitutes and strippers is not wasting? I'd give it all to charity. And, I, and I, I've got to confess, I am not an innocent. I have been to a strip club. I have seen. Was it, so, so, was it, was it wasted? Like, I'm not, uh, yes, it was. I regret it, I regret it. And so you've got to love Bob, you know, you've got to love Bob because he will just tell you the facts. Right. Right. So I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm, when I speak to you real, I'm not speaking to you as a holier than thou I know, I know, kind of person. I know. But what I'm saying to you, bro, is that you've allowed your soul to be informed by the wrong stories. Yeah. You have allowed your soul to be informed by a story that is based on greed, 100. not a story that is based on virtue. 100. And Christianity teaches a story based on virtue. And you will be a better man if you have a richer character than a richer bank account. I understand that. Fully, fully, fully understand that. Fully, fully understand that. So, why aren't you following Jesus, bro? Because at the end of the day, like I said, when I go on Instagram, like, people just want to see other people with money in it. So, let me get my money. I don't. Up. I don't. Let me get my millions. Yeah. Do you? And don't forget, Do asia-project.com. Guys, search it out yourself. And don't buy. Do not buy. Put it on your watch list. You get what I'm saying? Right. Put it on your watch list. About so having money and showing that, and also you're, you're talking about, or also talking about violence. What it is? It's excitement on both sides. That's what's that. No, I'm, I'm talking... No, no, I'm saying it's excitement for I'm, violence, no. excitement for respecting... So, right, guys, what I'm talking about, what I'm talking about, what I'm talking about... Okay, what I'm talking about is that 
Human beings do not live by bread alone. That is the word of our Lord Jesus Christ. But by every word that God speaks. Now what that means real for you is that human beings don't live by money. They need to live by truth. And if they don't live by truth, their lives become harmed. Their lives become damaged. And that's what's happening to you because you're not living by truth. You're living by a lie. And the lie is that more money makes a better life, and it doesn't, it's no, a lie. I'm not saying more money makes a better life, but more money makes an easier life, that's for sure. Is easy always the best? More money, more money. That's not true. That, that, How do you, like, you're a guy that clearly works out. No, I don't, I don't go to him. No, oh, you're one of them lucky people that are just naturally, naturally born tongue, with a physique, yeah. yeah. I wish I was, I wish I had it, but I don't, you know? That's my envy. But, but my point to you, real, is this, right? If I want to get in more in shape like you, yeah. and less like Pan, which is also a Greek god I hasten to add, is if I want to get like you, I, I, I will do better if I work through the process to get what I want. If I try to circumvent it and shortcut the route to the thing that I want, I won't learn the lessons that I need to. And it's true for earning money, as well as it is for building up muscle, as well as it is for finding a relationship, You've got to go through the process to learn the right lessons. And this is why I like talking to Bob, because Bob is a smart man. Like, I don't get it twisted, yeah? I'm not, I'm not trying to, like, have a disagreement with you, Bob. I know, like, I know. You're like, here to sell cryptocurrency. I'm, exactly. That's, you know what I'm here to <laughs> do. I know like, what you're here you know to do. Here. You're here to but sell Bob cryptocurrency. Bob give me his honest perspective and his honest point of view, but it always comes back to religion and, yeah, and, it does. and God. Do you get what I'm saying? But for me, it doesn't come back to that. Like, I believe in the Most High. You get me? Did you? And, uh, go on, go he's on. even more higher than me. Yeah. Like 24 7, you get me? So, like, that's all I need to worry about, innit? The most high, I don't even need to call him by his name. I can call him whatever I want to call him because you lot call him this, you lot call him that, and you lot call him that. But it's all the same person that you're talking to. Right, so let me reply to that because here's another thing that Jesus said that you need to listen to. He said that you can't serve God and money, you got to choose between the two. Mm -hmm. In other words, what he's saying is, if you aren't devoted in your life towards God, yeah, or you end up worshiping, like you'll end up worshiping something else. In the context that Christ was speaking, that was money. But for you personally, it's also true. You believe in the Most High, but you aren't devoting yourself to the Most High. You're devoting yourself to money, and that's a false god. And that false god will drain you and suck the life out of you. And the more you pursue it, the more it will destroy your life. You have to devote yourself to the Most High because when you devote your life to Him, He will fill you with life. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord and buy my crypto! Don't buy crypto! Praise the Lord and buy my crypto! So, real, you real. Yeah, you, you've got a Bible at home, haven't you? Yeah, of course. Right, so pick it up, bro, and read it. I do, I do read it sometimes. Right, so come and talk to, it. Come and talk to me about it. I, Bob, Bob, I, I, Bob, if I was going to pick a religion, let me just say, I'd probably pick like, Christianity. I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. Tell like, us why. Because as, as, as I was born, yeah, I believe that I probably was a Christian. I was born into a Christian family. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? I like, get what you're saying. And um, the more that I come down to these places and hear certain things from certain people, then it kind of makes me go a certain route. You get yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah. obviously the, there's certain things that I've heard that I probably wouldn't want to follow myself or do you get what I mean? Like, yeah, not, nobody I, wants to follow a kitty fiddler. I wasn't going to say that, but I leave that to you, in it. But you know I'm going to say it. You like, know I'm going to say it. Nobody wants to follow a rapist. So, at the end of the day, I, I, I don't believe that Jesus is God either. Like, but at the same time, you know, we, we can only do what we can do, in it. Okay, so you've sold your cryptocurrency. Oh, you've tried to. I do not advise you buy his cryptocurrency. Buy do not buy his cryptocurrency, buy right? But what I would say to you, real, right, is take, a, you know, when you leave this park today and you sat with a coffee or a drink or whatever on your own, just play back what you heard today and see if you recognize any wisdom in it. This idea that you, if you don't devote yourself to God, you'll devote yourself to a false God. This idea, I, I know that, I know this that. idea that man cannot live by bread alone, but by truth. And this idea that 
inner richness, the inner richness of the soul is more valuable than the richness of the material world. If you recognise the that. truth of no, what I'm no, saying, adjust yourself. No, no, I get that. Man fully, up, man fully. up, no, no, real, no, 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 man no, no, up, no, no, real, and fully, adjust yourself. Fully, I get that. Fully. So man up. I tell you why. Man up. Listen. Be a man. Fully, I get that. But I get what you're saying, fully. But here's here's where I'm coming from, yeah. All right. Like certain people in this world. They was born into some kind of lifestyle. Do you get what I'm saying? Yep. They never have to work. They never yep. have to. They never Paris have to. Hilton. There you go. Yeah, them sort of people. They Donald never Trump. Do nothing. Yeah. They never have to do nothing. Yep. Yeah. Never have to lift a finger in their life. Yeah. They could probably even pay someone to come and wipe their. They yeah? probably have at from some the, point. From birth to death, they could pay someone and to yet wipe they work their ass. Really you get what I'm saying? But you got other people who suffer. Yes. <coughs> Not COVID, yeah? COVID's fake, but get the vaccine because if you get the vaccine, <laughs> you're probably gonna die. Stay on topic, real, yeah? stay on topic. Sorry. Anyway, we're talking about, we were talking about, and some people suffer because they're poor. Some people suffer because they're poor. Some people have a hard life, yeah? They got to work for everything they got. Yep. They, got, they get kicked out of their house, they get homeless. They I'm got, one of those they're, people. They're on the street, they got to sleep in their mate's house. Yep. They got to do this, they got to do that. Do you get what I'm saying? Now, I've been through that myself, yeah. personally. Yeah. And you learnt lessons through it, didn't personally, you? Personally, yeah. I've been through that. Right, so you learnt lessons so, though, didn't but you? But the lesson what I learnt the most, the lesson what I learnt the most is that other people, yeah, are just born into this yep. and, could, and can live a life of luxury 24-7. Yeah. Now, I've been through the hardships of life. Yeah. And I've got kids. Yeah. I don't want them to have to go through the that I've been through. That's why I do what I do. Not for me. Yep. Not for me because I know that probably I ain't even got, I probably passed half of my life already. So there's no point in me selling my soul to the devil to become rich because I'll be dead soon anyway. Okay, let me respond. Do you get what I'm yeah, let me respond to this because you're like real, you're not the only one that is stood in this this space that has gone through real. No, and I know that. that's not to diminish anything you've gone through. I know that. I'm just pointing out that the chances are in hearing what you're saying. There's going to be people here and people on camera that will identify with what you're saying because they've gone through something similar, something very approximate or something worse. But what I am saying is that in terms of how we guide our life, right? Yeah. When you came into this conversation, you talked about having more, having money, right? I'm saying that you need to, that the best thing that you can do for your children is to teach them the virtues that will mean that whatever the problem they face, they will be able to handle it with dignity and nobility and manliness or femininity if, it's a, if one of your children's a woman. Not greed, not pride, because these things will lead you down a bad alley where you harm yourself and you harm the ones you love. This is a wisdom of the Christian faith. I'm offering it to you freely. And I learned it because I follow Jesus. We got a different way of thinking, innit? Like, at the we end do, of the day, that's true. We do. I'm just trying to provide you don't. so that potentially, if my cryptocurrency takes off and I become a, don't a, buy his a cryptocurrency. If my cryptocurrency takes off and I become a billionaire, that You're my gonna children come and share ain't gonna have to worry. Yeah. Their children ain't gonna have to worry. Their kids ain't gonna have to worry. That's the, that's the, not, that's not money for me. That's generational right. money. So, so okay. now you know what? Hold on, let me finish. Yeah, 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 finish. yeah, yeah. yeah? I rather sell out my soul if that's the case i'd rather sell out my soul for the rest of my eternity my, my eternal family do you understand what i'm saying like for any of my family members to come who's gonna come in the future i'd rather sell out my soul now so that they can be good and they don't have to in it that's right all I'm so let me to to. let me reply to that because i understand your motivations who doesn't want their children to live a better life everybody does but what i'm saying is how do we define the better life I'm saying to you, defining the better life is not necessarily equivalent to the most comfortable life. Let me finish. I'll let you finish. It's not equivalent to the most comfortable life. When you look at Paris Hilton and Donald Trump, do you look up to those people or do you look down on those people? Well, it, it, depends, on, it depends on the situation. As, no, no, no. Let's, let's be honest. Paris Hilton and Donald Trump are not exactly people that are admirable. No, they're not. They behave like spoiled children. Yeah. So their life, right, is, is, has been ruined by the comforts that they have. 
And that's what I'm saying. If you did become a billionaire, and I pray that you become rich. Nice one. I pray you become rich, right? But I also pray that you become rich in virtue, mm. not just money. Mm. Because if you become rich in virtue and money, you will realize that just giving your children comfort isn't the best way to serve them. Of course, I know that, man. I, I know that. I know what you're saying, Bob. But at the end of the day, it's like when I'm on my deathbed, yeah, and I'm dying, I ain't going to be thinking about money, am I? No, exactly. And no amount of money in the world can help me. Do you get what I'm saying? Yep. The only thing I'm going to be praying for is more time on this earth. Yes. Do you understand what I'm saying? And you're going to... Right, and you're going to be praying for the mercy of God. Exactly. So why don't you live your life in the reality of that? Ah, uh, because you know what? I just wait for that time to happen, innit? No yeah. Two, two, two things, two things. No smoking. Two things, two things. I quit. I two quit. things, real, yeah? One is that in the Christian faith, there is a prayer in the Old Testament which says this. Mm. Lord, don't make me so poor that I should break your law, but don't make me so rich that I should forget you. Christ and said, that's a good one. Christ I said, about 100 million would, would do Yeah, and Christ said, Christ said that it is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than it is for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. Yeah. You want money, but what you should really be pursuing is virtue. What you really should be pursuing is your discipleship to Christ, your devotion to God. And if you pursue these things, everything that makes for the good life will be given to you. You don't need money to be happy. You don't need money to be successful. Mm -hmm. You don't need money to live a good life. Mm -hmm. It helps in some respects, but it is also dangerous. Of course. You've right? You've got to have the balance, innit? So, so focus your You've life on God. No, no. Have a your devotion has to be God. It's not 50% to God and 50% to no, money. What I'm saying is you've it's 100% to God. You've got to have a balance of, of, uh, of like basically what you've been through. Like, of, look, I've been poor all my life, innit? Yeah. So if I'm rich now, then I'm still going to remember the times that I was poor. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I'll still remember the times that I couldn't afford to pay my rent. I'll still remember the times that I slept on my friend's sofa. Yeah. But I'll have money now. So now, when I see someone on the street who needs money, am I going to be, am I going to walk past them and turn up my nose? Because I, I see certain people that will walk down the street and they'll see someone who's homeless, yeah, and they'll have change galore in their pockets and, and not they will it. not give them a, a penny yep. yeah and i sometimes who ain't got call in my pocket will walk past the homeless person and give them everything that i've got left in my in my pocket yeah do you get what i'm saying so that's but remember me. remember remember real earlier in the conversation when you imagine what you would do if you got these hundred billions what did yeah. you say i will buy an buy island. island right so where where's 100. the poor people going to be on that island what do you mean that island's for me isn't it exactly so you've immediately separated yourself from the poor no how and because all I, rich people because, do that because the, i've got an island but that's my point real real i'm gonna spend all my real. time on the island real real that's my point the moment the rich become rich the very first thing that they do is Just separate the themselves from the rest of us. Mm -hmm. Now, are you do, don't assume that you are not subject to the same temptations as any other human being. Because you are, my friend. Exactly. Right. So, so approach this with humility, not with pride. What I'm saying to you is that rather than pursue money and rather than allow yourself to fall into the trap that I won't be like other rich people, pursue virtue instead as well as working hard, because virtue does mean you work hard. Because when you pursue virtue, then what you do is, when you see the poor man, your virtue gives you compassion. Regardless of whether you're rich or you're poor. And the other thing that I would say, is that that virtue has to be pinned upon what you're devoted to. If you're devoted to God, charity will come naturally. We Christians tithe, you know that, right? You know what we do when we tithe? No. So we set apart a certain percentage of our money. Mm. It's down to each individual choice. So for me, it's 5%. And we give that to charity mm. or we give that to good causes. Mm. So I use it and I, I've got, I know I've got this money that is set aside that I can just give liberally to people. Okay. So you see me, yeah? And here's, and here's something that I wanted to point out as well. Because I know you're saying don't buy my cryptocurrency. Don't yeah? buy his which cryptocurrency. Is, which is fine. You don't have to buy my cryptocurrency. You don't have to buy it, yeah? Because what I've done is I've created a game, yeah? That you can download on the on the Play Store, yeah? You yeah. can play the game and you can earn cryptocurrency. So now, on your way to work, you can play this game and you can earn your bus fare. 
you could play this game and earn, earn, and earn your train fare. So what I what I tried to do when I, the, the, my original intention for for making a cryptocurrency was that there's too much poor people in the world, and if I could, then I'd like to help them poor people. So that's why I'm saying, look, everybody's got a mobile phone. Almost every even even the homeless people got a mobile phone. Even homeless people got a smartphone. So now a homeless man can come and play this game and earn cryptocurrency. Potentially, I don't know. He, might be able to earn thousands of pounds. Who knows? I got no problem with it. You know like, so, like I say at the beginning of the conversation, we're starting to repeat ourselves now. So maybe we should bring this to a close. But as I said at the beginning of the conversation, I've got no inherent objection to the idea of cryptocurrency, and I certainly don't object to you trying to make money. But what I'm saying to you, which I think is a much more important conversation that you need to have with yourself, is what is your life devoted to? How is the thing you are devoting yourself to affecting the decisions you make? And how are you cultivating that richer character? Because I'm saying to you that you recognize, I can see that you recognize it. You recognize the biblical wisdom. You recognize the wisdom of the prophets and the apostles. Well, if you recognize the wisdom of the prophets and the apostles, follow the prophets and the apostles as they follow Christ. You can still make money. What? Have your cake and eat it. That's what I'm trying to say. I, I want my cake and I want to eat it. No, no. I, I, I want to stress. I want to stress. There's no following Christ without suffering. Yeah, we all suffer. There's I've no following Christ suffering. without suffering. I've been through a lot of suffering, so maybe I already was following Christ without me even knowing. What, what I'm you saying what is, bro, is that, that Christ can redeem all that pain. Yeah? Christ can make all that pain of value. But this is, the, this is the one thing that I hear like from religious people all the time like God is going to save you and God is going to make your life great and God is going to make your life You're happy. not from me, like, not from me. Really and truly like, alright cool, you know what, in times of need, yep. in times of need, when I've really really been in need of something and I don't mean that, I don't mean in want of something, I mean in need of something. Yeah. I'll sit there and I'll be like, most high, you know I need this right now, like, I actually need it right now, so if you could help me out, that'd be good. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and miraculously, everything will just fall into place. So thank God for his mercy and now I devote do. yourself to him. I thank God all the time. So devote, time yourself, all the time. so devote yourself to God. I am devoted, but at the same not time, to money. I'm, devoted to, I'm devoted to the Most High. I said that from the start, like, the Most High, I know the Most High. Right, like, so... I'm in contact with him. You the, get the, 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 get most, the Most High... Is, is, is seen and known through Jesus Christ. No. Yes, no. absolutely. That's your, that's your opinion. No, that's that is the opinion. wisdom because of the prophets and the Jesus apostles. Christ, but I know the most high. Well, what, what you I'm need to do, to what, what I need you to do, what you need to do is to pick up a gospel and see what it says about Jesus Christ. I, 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 I read the Bible and like, You recognize the wisdom when we talked about it. I, when, I, when, I said, when I said what the prophets and the apostles said, you said, yeah, yeah, I see the wisdom in that. Yeah, yeah, I get your point. Yeah, yeah, yeah that no, makes sense. But when I said it and it sounded like it was coming from me, you ascribed it as wisdom. Now I've said where I've got it from, you're more reticent. No. I quoted to you the Bible yeah, and you I saw know, its wisdom. I know. So pick I up the Bible I know, and I read know. it as wisdom. I know the Bible's got some real talk in there, you know, like some real things in the Bible, but people ain't following their life by the Bible. And one thing, one Bible that I got, the Bible that I got, Ain't the Bible that you got, bro. You're going to have to elaborate. What do you mean? Bro, I brought down my Bible here. I brought my Bible to the park. Yep. And when I brought my Bible to the park, none of these Christians right here could explain to me what was in that Bible. Well, bring it down, and we'll, bring it down and we'll and talk I about it. I swear I even spoke to you about it. Bro. Yeah, Summer tells, me, Summer tells me at that time, because I remember that conversation. The Old Testament Bible. Summer, I got. Summer when, we, when we spoke, because I remember that conversation, you were too irate to listen. I never irate. You were irate. Oh, man. I'm hype. Real. There's a difference between real. hype and irate. Your, your pseudonym even tells you to There's be real. There's a difference between hype and irate. You're too hype then to yeah, listen to what I was saying. The, the so bring your Bible next week and let's talk again. All right, cool. We'll do that. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Be yeah, a man of your word. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. All right. We'll do that. Next week, I'll be here. Yeah, you're going to pick up your Bible. We're going to talk about it. I'll put my Bible down here and I'll point we'll out talk certain about it. things that I want him to explain. We will do. And we'll see how far we get with that. Thanks be to God. Yeah, let's do that. And in between, read it. All right, cool. All right, do look after yourself, real. Take care. Question from this chat. I'm fan of your work. I've seen you on YouTube. Peace be with you, bro. God bless you. Yeah, I got a question from the chat. Yeah. Do you mind answering? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, sure. So this is from a guy by the name of David Weber. Yeah. And he's asking, 
can God be a maker before he made anything? If not, why does Anthesis say that one can be called a maker though he has not made nothing yet? Anthinos, who's that? It's probably a church father. Yeah. So let, let Athanasius. Yeah, Athanasius. Athanasius. Yeah. So 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 let me let me describe let me explain that. The church fathers make statements. It isn't the case that just because the church fathers say something that every Christian is committed to believing it. Christians make a distinction between the energies of God and the essence of God. Um, Origen also made the same mistake that Athanasius is making there. But the reality is that is not what Christians believe. We don't believe that God is the creator before he created. We believe that, that God, because he is all powerful, because he has a mind, because he has a will, has chosen to create. And at the point of creating, it is right to call him our creator. So we make a distinction between the essence and the energy. Chris, people need to familiarize themselves with that. Um, and, and this critique is actually more appropriate to Islam because Islam makes the same mistake that Origen and Athanasius make. But just because two church fathers, and sorry, one church father and an ecclesiastical writer make the same mistake as orthodox Sunni Islam doesn't mean that it's not a mistake. It just means that Athanasius and Origen made the same mistake as Orthodox Sunni Islam and therefore have the same contradiction in their thinking that Sunni Orthodox Islam has in its. Thank you for that. That's